got a view. Man, that's steep, dude. I got the stuff here. Natural stone retaining wall, natural granite steps, and natural blue stone patio. Sandy soil, huh? Good morning, everyone. Start of the 2024 season. We got the machine loaded up. We got all our tools and everything ready. And we're going to do another job on the lake. We're going to be building a retaining wall, setting a, a set of granite steps, and building a bluestone patio. Ready for the season, bud? Ready. Hey. This is all your wife's is that stuff? Tupperware? Tupperware and stuff, yeah. So Liz said give it to you to put in your car. Do you know the kind of Tupperware your wife has? Because I don't. That's all red. Huh. Well, maybe she's giving it to her as a gift. <laughs> this customer found me through YouTube. He was gonna dig in and do the project on his own, but um, just kind of realized how, how long of an undertaking it's gonna be and um, how time consuming it's gonna be. So he reached out because he found out I was local. Has a lot of customers have done, which is really cool. Excited about that. But I went and met with him, went over the project. Every, everything's good. Happy with the price. We're not gonna probably be doing a ton on this job today. We're getting this machine there. We got to get a mini excavator and we're just going to stage the job up, lay it out a little bit, start digging, and just kind of figure things out. Dude, I got a question. We got marking paint? Uh, that's a really good question. Should check that freaking tool toolbox, box? yeah. Oh, it's backwards. Dummy! Negative. Gotta grab the... Is it in the shed? Yeah, we got some in the shed. All right, just grab the paint and some drainage pipe. Now we're off. Here we go. This is legitimately, Benny, the earliest I've ever started a hardscape season. Yeah. Didn't even have time to get my manifolds done, dude. Gotta get them done next week. Yeah, two. This winter came and went so quick, dude. Mostly because I worked all the way through December, halfway into January. And then we got a bunch of snow for a while. February was like a decent vacation. <laughs> Natural stone wall, Benny. First one for myself. I love it. The customer bought materials himself he bought blue stone pavers he's got the natural round field stone rocks on site and he's also got the granite steps there on site so that's a little different than what we typically deal with we're the ones pretty much bringing everything and purchasing it so that's actually pretty nice to have that all set up and already there just show up and build dude right install is where's all the fill going we're gonna take it out but i don't know where i'm gonna be bringing it yet I'm still nowhere around here tight neighborhood dude yeah, yeah. tight and i guess the neighbor is really picky about his yard and lawn and stuff so we gotta be careful oh, it's even tighter than i remember because i came here in liz's car He's got his skid steer here too. Man, that's steep, dude. <laughs> dude, did you see it? Yep. <laughs> oh man, that's steep. No one's getting around us, dude. Find another way. Yep. All right, let's unload this thing, bro. Man, 
Yeah, that's very steep. Tell you we. So I got a little compactor and a saw from that company. And I'm gonna be making a little review video about it. So that'll be coming up in the mix. Wow, just like my putting yesterday. Never had a compact that I can do this with, dude. This is wild. Start the year with a freaking injury, dude. I think we're gonna have to lift this up a little bit, bro. It's a little steep back there. Alright. Yeah. got the stuff here here it is here it is got the blue stone we're just gonna be running a linear pattern these are all the same size pavers it's one foot by two foot and it's gonna be going in this entire area Bro, standing right here, I'm like at my head's at the road level, dude. Did the water used to be up here at some point? <laughs> yeah, during Noah's days. Let's go throw these in there real quick, but Tiny compactor. Tiny, tiny. Nice little machine he's got. What is that? Uh, that's a Bobcat T550. Looks like it's put in some work during its life. All right, I'm bringing this stuff down. All right, we are gonna go get the mini excavator now. It is officially the 2024 season, and I couldn't be happier with the project we got right here to, to kick it off with. All natural stone, natural stone retaining wall, natural granite steps, and natural bluestone patio. I'm super excited about it. Awesome job site, beautiful view, and the customer is uh, just a class act. Great guy, got everything staged up for us. And um, I'm just super happy to be working for him. 
like I had mentioned in my previous upload, we're going to be trying to keep up with this season. I'm going to try to keep my videos current and all the videos I didn't get to last season, which I'm sorry for any of the customers that may be waiting for their videos to come. I'm sorry they're going to be delayed, but my goal has always been to stay current on this channel and it's been a very difficult task, but I'm thinking that it's going to be possible this year. And with my wife helping me and with all of her knowledge that she gained last year in video editing and stuff, it's going to be cool. I'm going to try to keep up with the current videos and she's going to keep making the videos from last year and there'll be a mix of them both throughout the week. So that is the plan. But anyway, we're getting this mini excavator from Bobcat of Worcester, and it's in Auburn, Mass. I've been dealing with the rental guy there for the past year and a half. Awesome guy, and they always have the machines I need when I need them. So, shout out to them. Alright, we're here. What a view. Breezy today, very breezy. That's obviously where the granite steps are going. Natural stone wall, four feet. And then we're gonna be sloping it back and making a little flower bed where you can put some plants in it, perennials or something. Don't have crazy expectations for uh, production today. I just wanna get a few loads of fill out of here, and get everything staged up. So this whole area right here, we definitely need to get rid of. There's too much soil up there, plus there's grass. And this backside is not carved back enough. I gotta carve it back more and slope it. So I'm just gonna dig in, get a load of fill, load it up for Ben, cause we got a 20 minute ride to the dump. So I wanna get him loaded up as quick as possible so we can go dump, come back, and we can get another, uh, another load out of here at least. bad. I'm probably going to be weeble wobbling a little bit. touched base on it a little bit in the previous video but you know when you get into a job a lot of times people spend too much time figuring out where or how they want to start I always try to just dig in with the basics I have an idea in my head of how I'm gonna go about it but like here I'm not gonna try to go over any grades or elevations or anything I'm just making a pile of dirt loading Ben up and getting him out of there and then while he's gone dumping I can think about the job a little more
Unload. That's a steep hill, man. Yeah. All right, Ben's good to go. I'm gonna start digging out for the wall trench. Cards on the console. Uh, am I getting anything? No. Low and slow, man. I gotta slope the back here a little bit more and then just clean out the trench nice. We're looking to get like 12 to 14 inches below grade, so we can do like six to eight inches of three quarter inch clean crushed base stone, and then have like six inches of the first stones buried underneath the surface. I'm even thinking because of the way that this wall jets back, it goes back really quick. We may have to start the first step in the front here. And I'm wondering if we do the same thing with the wall. Give us some room to slope everything behind it well so that we don't build the wall and then there's a quick slope down to the wall. So I'm just gonna mess around with that. I'm gonna put some of these bigger rocks to the side so we can use them for behind the wall and just keep on moving. So today is Sunday, March 17th, as I edited this video. And we started this job last Tuesday, the 12th. But this upcoming week now is going to be the Northeast Hardscape Expo. And if you've been following my channel, you've seen me compete in the, uh, the Hardscape install competition they put on every year. We are signed up for that again this year, and we're looking forward to it. Maybe one of these times we'll uh, be able to win that $10,000 first prize. But either way, it's, it's fun just being a part of it and um, seeing everybody else in the trade seeing what's new coming out, um, new machines, new tools, all that kind of stuff. I will be making a video on that. There'll probably be two videos, one of us just kind of walking around the event, enjoying it, and then there'll be one of us um, actually competing. My buddy Joey will definitely be there. If you guys watched the videos on that um, Hardscape Expo before, you know who I'm talking about. We go back quite a few years, and he's the only reason that we can actually even get in this competition. You need three people, two people to compete, and then one as an alternate, and he's been there for me every year. So, Joey, if you're watching, man, shout out to you. Looking forward to this, uh, this competition coming up. So that is this Wednesday, the 20th, and there's 12 teams competing. The top four move on to the second day. And if you win that one, it's a $10,000 prize. And it, um, the top four teams will make cash, but it drops from $10,000 down to, I think, $2,500, then $15, and then $1,000, something like that. But if, you, if you're in the top four, you, you make a little bit of money. Not, not quite as much as first place, but it's still a good day.
Ben is back from dumping the first load. Kept moving without him. And I'll tell you one thing. There is a ton of rocks in this dirt. Tons of them. So I'm gonna get him loaded up with some more dirt. How was your journey, dude? Journey. Hope we can find somewhere closer to dump, dude. I'm waiting on like two more calls. Hilka called me back and like, sorry, we don't accept it. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna load you up, dude. There's a place in Oxford I wanna check to see if they take it. Yeah. So we'll just go both together. If you wanna screw around and rake through some of that. That's just rebar. There was a piece of concrete with rebar, so I pushed it aside. Nice sandy soil, huh? Yeah. This whole wall, everything's kind of sketchy, bro. But it's like, what do you do without tearing the whole thing down? <laughs> There's really nothing, you know? We will see you guys tomorrow. It's about 2 o'clock right now, but by the time we get that dumped and figure stuff out, it's going to be a little bit later, so... We got here, we got the job set up, got some digging done, some soil removed. Tomorrow's another day. Good late morning. Today is Wednesday, March 13th. Did a little bit off camera this morning. One more digging, one more dirt removal. Hey pal. Hey. Say hi to your fans. Hey. Hey. <laughs> concrete footing in front of the door. Dude, I'll be honest with you, we might be able to just put the blue stone right over that. Looks like there's enough room to put some chip in. Right here? Yeah, right? Right over it. I feel like pulling that out might might be a sketchy thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like it's separate from the foundation and the chimney, but not by much. Yeah, it's separate. It's sketchy, though. I mean, the thing's not moving. No, it's all... Some chip right over it. 
So I gotta move these pallets out of my way. And they're gonna be going down there for now, just so I can do some digging. Day number three here. Couple short days though. We didn't spend like the full day here, but we're moving along pretty good. Talked to the homeowner and we decided to pop the step and wop. <laughs> Talked to the homeowner and we decided to step the wall and the, wow. So we decided to pop this wall out about a foot from this wall. And simply because it's a really steep grade already, so the further we can pop the wall out, the better that grade's gonna be afterwards for the flower bed. And we were also concerned that if we start the steps right with that wall, it's gonna go into the, the hill too quickly. And we're gonna start getting involved with this and we'd have to excavate more for our backfill stone. And we can't do that because the way that this is all laid is not good already. So if we start to undermine any of this, um, it's just going to give us problems. So the plan is basically to build this staircase and then wherever that lands, he's going to take care of this wall afterwards. He's going to face it or, um, you know, fix the cracks. And then I think he's going to be doing stone veneer on it. So we're going to get the steps in, lock it all together and then deal with that wall afterwards. We got a little bit more cleaning up on this trench to do, make sure that our heights are right. And then we're going to start laying some steps hopefully we're going to get like one or two steps in and then we got to start building the wall at the same time to hold all the backfill stone that we put behind the steps but that's going to be in the next video hope you guys enjoyed this one benny say goodbye to these guys goodbye
hello and goodbye. You guys know the deal. Till the next one, God bless. Peace. <laughs>